Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at vector proofs. This is our third video on vectors. We've also done an introduction to vectors and vector problems. I would recommend watching these two videos first before we continue. This is our first uh, proof that we're going to use in this video and we're going to try and prove that WXY line a straight line. To show that points line and straight line, we need to show that the vectors between two of these points and uh, are parallel to another vector between another two of these points. And that uh, they all pass through one of these points. Okay, so I'll just repeat that to show that points line and straight line, show that the vectors between them are parallel and that they pass through the same point. In this question, we're given that the ratio between Q and X and X and R is two to one and also that the vector PW is A, PR is B. We're going to find the vector W to Y and also the vector X to Y. Because these are uh, two, of the two pairs of points that lie on this line, and we're going to show that they both go through the point Y and also they are parallel to each other. And that will be sufficient uh, to prove that line on the straight line. Okay, let's start with W to Y. And we can start by uh, labelling that P to W is A, and therefore W to Q is A as well. We can also label the vector B here, and that also means R to Y is also B. To go from W to Y, we're going to go along this path here. We're going to go minus A plus 2B along that path like that. And remember, the minus A is negative because it's going backwards. Now x to y, we're going to uh, try and piece together what the vector x to y is. And we'll start by realising that the ratio of 2 to 1 tells us that it's a third to 2 thirds. So this, uh, the length from x to r is a third, and from x to q is 2 thirds. That's a third of qr and 2 thirds of qr. Okay, so therefore from x to y is going along this path. It's x to r and then r to y. But x to r is a third of qr. So we can replace um, x to r with a third of qr. r to y is b. So we can immediately replace r to y with b. q to r is minus 2a plus b. Because you're going backwards 2a and then plus b to get from q to r. So we can substitute that in like this. We can then expand the brackets. And then we can simplify. A third of b plus b is four thirds b. We can factorise out two thirds from this entire expression. And so we can write that entire expression as two thirds times minus a plus two b. We're doing that because we want to make it parallel to the original uh, vector. We can only do that if we factorise out the fraction. So now we've got these two expressions for w to y and x to y. They are both multiples of the vector minus a plus 2b. This means they are both parallel. They also both pass through the point y, and therefore, because they're both parallel and they go through the same point, they must lie on the same straight line. And you can see that dotted line here uh, from w to x to y is written like that. And that's the final answer. We have finished as required. Question two. We've got A, B, C, D is a trapezium, and B, C is parallel to D, C. Um, the vector uh, A, B is 12A, the vector A to D is 3B, and the vector D, C is 18A. Is the point on the diagonal D, B such that D, E is a third of D, B? Show that B, C is parallel to A, E. And all we need to do to show that two vectors are parallel is show they are scalar multiples of each other. Okay, we've labelled a diagram with the information from the question, and we're going to try and find the vectors BC to AE and to show the scalar multiples of each other. B to C. To go from B to C, we're going to go along this path. That's minus 12A plus 3B plus 18A. Like this. We simplify that. Minus 12A plus 18A is 6A plus 3B. The vector A to E now, 
Uh, we're going to go along this path. That is CB plus a third of DB. But DB is uh, minus CB plus 12A. Because we're going backwards CB and then across 12A. We substitute that into the question and then we expand the brackets. A third times CB minus CB and a third times 12A gives us this. We then simplify, we get 2B plus 4A. Now, we can factorise both of these expressions here for AE and BC. We can take a 2 and a 3 out of these and we get that uh, BC is 3 times 2A plus B and AE is 2 times 2A plus B. These are both scalar multiples of 2A plus B and therefore they are parallel. And that's the final answer we have done. We have shown what we wanted to show. Our final example today, we are given a trapezium and we are also given the midpoint of the trapezium is P. The vectors uh, are already drawn on the diagram and we want to prove that the vector OP can be written in the form K times 2A plus 3B where K is some constant to be found. Okay, so all we know about P is it lies on the lines OC and AB because it's the point where those two intersect. And so we're going to find two separate uh, expressions for OP. One expression is going along the red path and the other expression is going along the green path. OP is OA plus M times AB, where M is some fraction of AB. So we're going from A, O to A and then A to P, which is some fraction of the vector A to B. O to P is N times O to C, because O to C is going all the way across, P is some fraction of that. And so we can start substituting this, O to A is 2A, and A to B is minus 2A plus 5B. That's just the vector going from A to B is minus 2A plus 5B. We can then expand the brackets, and we've got this expression for O to P. Now, O to P going along the green path is n times 2a plus 3b. And we can expand the brackets like that. We'll just be, uh, for here, we got 2a plus 3b from going 2a plus 3b, and that was a vector from O to C. We now have these two expressions for O to C and O to P, and they must be equal to each other because they are going to the same point. We can highlight the A parts here. So the, uh, the uh, green, blue parts represent the A vectors and the orange parts represent the uh, B vectors. They must be the same because the A vectors and the B vectors um, must match up on both sides of the equation. So we get this here. The blue parts are equal to the blue parts and the orange parts are equal to the orange parts. We div uh, divide by A and we divide by B and therefore we get 2N equals 2 minus 2 times M and 3N is equal to 5M. This is a pair of simultaneous equations. I'm going to solve these simultaneous equations. If we divide by 2, we get N equals 1 minus M. And we've also got that uh, this expression here, 3N equals 5N. And we can substitute our expression for n, 1 minus m, into this expression. So we're substituting the blue expression into the orange expression. We expand those brackets and we get this. We add 3m to both sides, we get 3 equals 8m. And we divide by 8, and we get m equals 3 eighths. Now we also know that n is equal to 1 minus m. So we substitute m into this expression n is equal to 1 minus 3 eighths, and so n is equal to 5 eighths. We have almost done. Now we've got the expression here using n. So we've got op is n times 2a plus 3b. Substitute that into that expression, and we now have uh, our uh, vector in the form k times 2a plus 3b, where k is 5 eighths, 
and we have shown, as required in the question, that OP is 5 eighths times 2a plus 3b, and we have done. There's a lot of algebra in that question. In fact, there's a lot of algebra in this topic. You might want to rewatch this video a few times so you can really digest what's going on in each question. But if you feel like you're ready, I've got a practice question for you to try here. And if you feel like you're ready, you can pause the video and try this yourself. You're trying to prove that E, M, X are all on the same straight line. This will take you about five to 10 minutes to do. So take your time and only when you're ready, press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos will be coming soon. We've also got advancedmaths.com, so do check that out for more uh, useful revision tips. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.